plays off the corner. Can he save it? Contact with Jones. Second caution of the day. Wow. Dale Jr. gets to the bottom of the racetrack on pool. Yep, pool goes to, uh, looks like he goes to protect it a little bit. Jr. kind of gets into the left rear. I, think I guess pool got into the seven there as well. Yeah. Junior does his job, gets to the bottom. And then Poole yeah. runs up into the side of Algar. Yeah, Algar just didn't get the best restart that I thought he was going to have and be able to clear the 48 car of Brendan Poole. And uh, it just looks like it wasn't enough room <laughs> for all three of them. There were three wide, actually. Well, he drove. Middle, wow. Middle, middle. Those Joe Gibbs cars. Keep rolling there. Tiff hit a ton right there. Well, unfortunately, the 48 got a terrible start there on old tires and just drove down in the one there. And I don't think he expected it to have as little a grip as it did. And, and you know, obviously, Dale being on the inside, it's just frustrating into our day. I mean, we ran second majority of the day. And obviously, Dale has a great car. Love to see him pulled off the win for Hellman's and all of Junior Motorsports. But um, felt like we could have at least finished second and, and possibly even won the race on that last restart. And just a shame that, you know, it's I know it's the end of the race, but uh, just no time for that.